To log into PowerSchool, we're going to click on Safari or any other web browser like Google Chrome. The URL that we type into this search bar is really important. You can enter this URL at your home computer, on your smartphone, on your iPad, on any device, and from that device, you can access your grades, course materials, assignments that teachers have posted. You can turn in your homework. You can do everything. So here's that really important URL, classroom.powerschool.com, and then we hit enter on the keyboard. We're brought to this login page. The Unified Classroom is the name of PowerSchool's website. So technically, PowerSchool is kind of like the company name, and their website here is the Unified Classroom. Skip the first two lines and look at Sign In with Microsoft. That's the option we want, so tap there. Here we can enter our SHS email address. So it's your name, and make sure you include at student shslu.org. Be sure to include that the very first time you try to sign in. Then tap Next. Make sure you tap Work or School Account. This is not a personal account, so tap the first option, Work or School. Here you can enter your password. For most of us, we took a photo of this on Freshman Orientation Day, and it's the password that we use for email, and it hasn't changed uh, the entire time we've been at Sacred Heart. Now tap Sign In. Sometimes you'll see an error message like this. If you refresh the page, a lot of the time refreshing does the trick, and then we can get in. Now this is going to take a minute to load, uh, which can happen. It can be slow. The Unified Classroom basically is going to replace Schoology, if you've ever used Schoology, and it's going to replace Plus Portals, if you've ever uh, used Plus Portals. So the first page we're taken to is the dashboard. We're not gonna spend much time here, although I will just point out, um, I've entered a grade for this course so that you can see where the grades appear. The grades will appear right down there. That's where you look for your score in the class. So uh, the semester hasn't begun, but I wanted to put something in so you could see where to check it out. Okay, right now we're gonna move on and skip through this dashboard. We're going to click on the button for class pages. If you look to the left of your screen, this icon with the paper and the check mark, that second icon down from the Power P, the Power P, that second one down is the class page uh, icon. So tap that paper with the check mark. It takes a while to access the website, and they're actually passing your um, sign in information from one system to another system right now. Okay, you might see something like this. We are not going to find the course for digital citizenship or the course for iPad training or any of that uh, if, we, if we simply click on this button. So there's a little extra bit of a trick that you need to use, and you'll only have to do this once for these courses. You won't be doing this throughout the year. We have to type into the, uh, the bar here, the uh, address bar, shslu, oops, dot learning dot powerschool dot com and nothing after it and then we hit, en hit enter okay now we can look over where it says classes on the left side see that classes tap on extras you'll see some classes like digital citizenship or ipad 101 I'm going to tap on iPad 101, and you can tap on whatever course you're, uh, you're beginning, and here we go. We've got access to the course. You can watch the video. There will be a video here pretty soon under the introduction, and as you tap on these pages on the left-hand side, you'll be guided through all of the steps that you need to complete. It's the same thing for the digital citizenship class and for the iPad tune-up class. So this is how we move through the materials, watch the videos, read the instructions, and then tap through each of the pages on the left side uh, to complete the course.